Just imagine, people united on a journey of missionary discipleship, full churches, joyous liturgies, priests who have the time to be present and attend to the needs of their people, parishes that are alive in faith, filled with vitality, ready to form people to radiate Christ. The Holy Spirit has always been at work with the Father and the Son on the divine plan for our salvation. Through the Holy Spirit's outpouring at our baptism, we Catholics are called to cooperate with that plan for our own sanctification, but also for the sanctification of every person in the world. The Catholic Church is God's sacramental presence on earth. This means that the Church itself is imbued with the Holy Spirit and is given to us as a means for our salvation. All the resources of the Church, human, physical, financial, must be ordered to Jesus' Great Commission to proclaim the good news of salvation and make disciples of all nations. This is the purpose of Beacons of Light, to embrace this proclamation of the gospel in our own homes, our life, and in our archdiocese. The next major phase of Beacons of Light is the implementation of the new families of parishes and the start of intentional pastoral planning within each of those families. This planning will be rooted in sincere prayer and open collaboration as each family together discerns the best and most productive use of their shared resources so as to radiate the love of Christ and form a strong, vital community of evangelization and service centered on the Eucharist. There will undoubtedly be hard decisions involving sacrifice and loss, but which will bear great fruit in the future. This is the enduring Christian journey, one that needs to be offered up in prayer to God's providence. As we move forward into an unsure and sometimes confusing future, let us stay united as the body of Christ, confident that the Holy Spirit is with us until the end of time. Please accept my heartfelt gratitude for your commitment to the flourishing of our local church. May God bless and keep all of us as we journey together on the path of discipleship.